Good evening. Good evening. Volvió Jessica. Andaba perdida. <risa> Lo bueno es que ya, ya apareció. <risa> sí, ya me encontré. Ya se encontró. Good. Let's see. Okay, Jennifer, it's going to be as a listener, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. No worry. Okay, guys, we are now in lesson number 19. It means that we almost finish, right? So let's see, we have around four participants at this time, but I know that everyone is getting into the class, right? Soon. Okay, let's see. Just to start with, um, I'm going to read the main objective for today's class. We have here that for today, we are going to be able to use get and go to give directions to various places, right? So we have here get and go. Those are the expressions that we are going to emphasize in today's class. And um, before starting with this, I'm going to share a whiteboard. And uh, this whiteboard, it is just for getting familiar with the vocabulary, right? Let me, I'm looking for the, the image. Okay, I have this. Word research, <clears throat> because just a few, we have just a few words. For example, we have bicycle, car, helicopter, motorcycle, plane, ship, subway, taxi, train, and truck. And these are the words that we have to look for in this word research. What are we going to do? Well, let us try to get the highlighter, you get the highlighter on your left, you can grab it, you can have the highlighter and then you can cross it out. Also, 
you can choose the color, right? Choose the highlighter. And at the same time, you can choose the color. For example, if I want to use green, I can change it too. Let us try it if we can do it, okay? Let's see. Okay, if you find out, if you can cross it out, if you do it, we are going to be cross it out, crossing out here the word too. Can you get into it? Can you edit it? I don't get which is the one that you have. Hi, no teacher, que hice manche todo. <laughs> Pero quería, quería, es que no sé cómo ponerlo transparente para que no se vea así. Ah, choose the highlighter. Cuando le dé clic al pen, Ajá. luego le va a salir otro lapicito abajo donde dice highlighter. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok. Voy a ver si puedo borrar eso. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you. Ok, I did it. Ok, Gilberto did it. For example, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Also the track. Mm -hmm. Okay, ship. Now you did it, Rose. So we have the ship, motorcycle. And now we got the bicycle, track, bicycle, motorcycle, track, ship. Okay. We got the plane too. Taxi, okay. Also, Maximiliano, good. Okay, the subway. <laughs> Helicopter, yes. Too. So we are missing just train, train, right? Okay, train already done. Okay, ah, we're missing car. Because this taxi, train, truck, ship, subway, plane, motorcycle, helicopter, bicycle, and car. We're missing car. Ya lo encontré, teacher, ahí lo coloqué. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Con... Ah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Very, yes. I have seen it now. Okay, good. So, you did it. You completed all the words. What 
um, vocabulary have we looked for in these activities? Well, we have looked for means of transportation. Means of transportation, right? That is what we have in this moment. Okay, thank you for participating. And now we are going back to the main uh, room. I'm going to stop sharing the whiteboard. And now we are here again. This is the, the main objective that I read, right? That we have for today's class. And then I have one question for you. Well, indeed, there are two questions, but first we have to answer number one, and then we are going to answer number two. When you travel, right? When you travel, it can be even here in the same place, right? In our country, not outside of the country. For example, if you want to go to San Miguel, if you want to go to Santa Ana. And then when you travel, what do you use for transportation? What is the means of transportation that you use? So I said, there are two questions in here. We have the first one, that is, can you name five means of transportation? These are mainly, this is mainly related to the vocabulary that we have already uh, worked with, right? So we have here means of transportation. And now, when you travel, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, by taxi, and why? Okay, two different things. Now let us type in the chat box the first question. I want you to name five means of transportation, okay? In the chat box. De los que se acuerdan, de que hicimos en la actividad, or maybe if you have another one, type the five means of transportation in the chat box, okay? I'm going to wait. Teacher, no se escucha. Thank you. 
Okay, yo me había muteado because of my dog here. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. I was reading, I was reading the chat box and I was reading what you have written. That is bus, taxi, car, motorcycle. Okay. Airplane, Uber, bus. Okay. So that is for the first one or, 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 or you have combined both. Because now, when you travel, when you travel, what do you prefer? Bus, taxi, Uber. What do you prefer? Type it. Or drive. It says, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus or by taxi? What do you prefer? Do you drive? So you prefer you prefer to drive. You drive. Okay. Okay. You prefer to drive. Isn't it tired? Isn't it tiring driving long trips? For example, when you go to San Miguel, it is uh, around two hours or two hours and a half. Isn't it tiring? Don't you think? Or don't you get tired? No. Okay, just to make the introduction to the topic, now you have seen, um, aha, that's what I mean, uh, Jose, right? Because when you are not driving, you can sleep, you can do whatever you want, but when you are driving, you cannot. And Rose says that in bus, because it is less expensive, right? So it is cheaper. And that is true. That is true. Now with the price of the gasoline, okay, that is that, that you have, you need to pay a lot. Okay, now we're going to, that we have made the introduction to this. Now I can, I have here, right? It is not publicity, but I think that these are like, the, when you want to travel, sometimes you use for transportation, you can use, of course, your car. But if you don't want to use your car, we have these three different options. But this is for uh, private transportation, right? This is not something public. This is private transportation. If you don't have a car or if you don't want to drive, this is what we decide to use, right? And these are now very famous apps that we can use. Now that you have, I don't know if you have had the opportunity to use Uber or in driver. Have you had the opportunity? Yes. I use it. Uber. I to... Okay. You have used Uber. Who, ha who has used in driver? Nobody? And who has used taxi? Me, I use it. Okay. Taxi. Okay, so we have used this. If you have used 
Uber and you have used taxi, I think that most of us, most of us have used Uber or taxi. Now, what I want you to do just with these two, only with these um, um, transportations, with these two, I want you to make like the comparison, which is better, using Uber or using taxi? What is better? I want you to say at least three different aspects. I want you to compare at least three different aspects, right? Okay, let's see. With Uber, we, we can select uh -huh. the, the, the cost. Uh -huh. And in the taxi now, uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that is a disadvantage, right? Because here you immediately can see the price, and then you can say, "Okay, yes," or you can say, "No, I better go by bus." But in a taxi, first you need to ask, right? And uh, I don't know if that happened to you, but most of the time. Taxis are more expensive than any of these ones. Taxis are more expensive, right? What is the reason for them to, to, to charge more? Do you know the reasons? Any idea? Uh... We can uh, mm, no 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 <laughs> any idea okay well in this yo tengo una idea pero no uh -huh. sé cómo decirlo en inglés okay <laughs> let us listen okay Bruce um, bueno el taxi este nosotros eh, podemos elegir con quién irnos En cambio, el Uber ya le muestra. Ajá. Y también, este, Uber muestra el tiempo de espera que uno va a, valga la redundancia, esperar al conductor. En cambio, el taxi, pues, es inmediato. Ok. Yes, you don't need to wait. O, o, o hay, o no hay taxi, right? <laughs> That's it. Ok. And one aspect is that, for example, these apps, it is like they 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 are paid, right, by the enterprise. So the, they are not charging and they do not receive or not the full um, amount of money. It is for them. They need to pay to the platform, right, to the app. And then the remaining money, it is for them. It is advantage or disadvantage? Well, the drivers, the workers, they can tell you, right? Which is better if being working independently with a taxi? Well, independently because most of them also they are renting the car and they are paying, right? But for us, for customers, these two are cheaper than the yellow one, right? Nowadays. And also, uh, not all the taxis, as you can see here, this taxi is very, very, very nice, right? As you can see here. But nowadays, if you check all taxis in our countries, they are really damaged, right? They are really damaged and they sounds like peroles, but they are working. <laughs> and that is something that here, it doesn't happen that frequently because for working in here, they have to fulfill some requirements, right? 
So in the year of the car, it, it is something that they need to have. So they are not very old, but taxis, some of them are really, really old. Okay, now let's see. Also, when you travel or when uh, you have to do some errands, we decide to use different means of transportation. These are in a general way, right? I'm not telling you that it is for um, the people, okay? But the common people, because the ambulance, it is used for the hospitals, right? Also, the helicopter, it is not for us. It is not for citizens, right? But it is a means of transportation. Of course, if you look for this means of transportation there in the web, you are going to have a, a list of thousands of them. But this is just a sample. And then we are going to compare them with the ones that we have in the book. Well, the first one, it is the well-known, the school bus. School bus. Everyone knows that when you see these ones, they are related to the school bus. These are not very common here in our country. But in some other countries, these are very famous in there, right? And very common, not famous, very common, but not in here. For us, we have like the uh, micro buses, right? Those are the ones that we have for school. And of course, they are not, um, they are private transportation, right? They are not public transportation. But in some other places, in some other countries, it is free. This is free, like the school bus, but not here. Well, then we have another one that is the ambulance. In the ambulance, we know that they really work with hospitals or when um, different um, entities that works with um, um how can I say, with emergencies, right? That we they need to work with. Then also we have the motorcycle and the helicopter. Motorcycle and helicopter. And this, uh, nowadays, um, we can see that uh, you need to be really careful at the moment that you are like uh, riding a motorcycle because uh, they have become very a very dangerous means of transportation, right? As you can see daily in the news, all days, all days we have different accidents, right? Um, in which a motorcycle is involved. Then we have some others. You have uh, the train, we have another kind of motorcycle, but in this case, it is like the scooter. And we have the bus, public transportation. Of course, the one that you have in the picture, it is a very modern bus. They are not the same as the one that we have, right? In our country. And then we have the trucks. These are huge, right? And what else? We have this one, right? We have more. Of course, we cannot uh, see them in our daily life, right? But there are some of them that, yes, we can see them every single day. For example, the bicycle or also the pickup truck, right? This, uh, these two are very common in our country. But this one, for example, the cruise ship, 
we can see from time to time when they are getting to the um, into the country. I think that recently I've got one of them in our country, right? I do not remember the, the, the name of it. And uh, finally, we have the submarine that we can understand that mainly they are used uh, for the Navy can use it, right? Or um, any other kind of people, but not citizens, right? Now, but we don't have here like the car. Finally, we have here the car. We have here the plane, the car, and another one that is kind of like, how can I say it? Unusual, but we do have them here. That is the hot air balloon. We have the car, hot air balloon. Also, we have the car, we have the airplane, and also we have the street car. As you can see here, for example, uh, the flag tells you the term that it is used in these two different countries. For example, in the United States, you can find them like street car, but in the um, England, right, and the UK, you can ask them or find them like drums, right? So, but they are mainly the same, but they change just from the place where you are. Means of transportation. How in... I have here. How are we going to use these means of transportation? Well, it depends on the context. If we are talking about the school bus, it is because the context is related to the school. But if you're talking about the ambulance, you need to have your context related to hospitals or uh, related to an emergency. The same as the motorcycle and the helicopter. Because for example, if we are thinking about the helicopter, maybe you need to recreate the ideas that you have for this means of transportation because it is not very common. In the, the ambulance, we know that it is not something private or for citizens, but the helicopter, it is like, um, last use for citizens. So under um, which context are we going to use the helicopter? Take notes about these, okay? We have school bus, ambulance, motorcycle, helicopter. Then we have train, scooter, dump truck, and bus. Then we have the cruise or ship, the submarine, the bicycle, the pickup truck. We have four different pictures. This is the first one, the four slides, sorry. In this slide, we have four different vocabulary. And then we have this four vocabulary. This is another slide. This is the third one, and this is the fourth one. What are we going to do in this moment is that you are going to write down sentences using this vocabulary. For example, if I want you to write down a sentence using school, the school bus, what sentence can we write? Something that comes to your mind? Mm-hmm. For example, when I was a child, I went to the school bus. Bus. I went to school by the school bus. Okay. I went okay. to school by school bus. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. That is what we are going to do in this moment. I want you to think in the context, but also you need to write down the sentence. Do you understand the rest? Yes. 
Okay. Even though we are 21 in here, but I know that not everyone is going to be able to work in the different teams, in the different rooms. Let me see who are the ones. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have, we are going to have only two different teams. Elsie, are you able to work in your teams, with the teams? Yes, teacher. Okay. Moses? Teacher? Can you work with different teams? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, one, two, those. Jose Roberto? Jose Roberto? No. Jose Adilson? Present teacher. Are you going to work? Yes. Okay. So you are going to be the first team and then I'm going to add only Jessica and Jessica, you go together. Ah, uh, Rose, can you work? Yes. Okay. And Remberto? Yes. Okay. Always. Always. Okay, good. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, let us go for a couple <laughs> of minutes. Okay? I'm going to open all the rooms. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> I, I, I forgot one. to tell you. Yes? One question for you. Yes. How many? I How have already, many? I have already posted the vocabulary that you're using. Only four. You're using school bus, ambulance, motorcycle, and helicopter. Okay. Okay. I posted that in chat. Okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Every day. Guys, guys, guys. Uh -huh. Every day. Yes, teacher. I, yes, forgot, teacher. I forgot to tell you that you're not going to use 
there are four slides, only one slide. Mm -hmm. And I'm, post, I'm posting, yeah. and the second slide is for you. Oh, what is ah, the second okay. slide? The second slide Gal Gal says the Gal cruise, Gal the submarine, the bicycle, and the pickup truck. Okay, bitch. Ya I know, I know, I know, but that's why I came in. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, bueno. Well.
<laughs> By helicopter to Joe. Uh, By is in the second one. Y usted, Elsa. Pues Elsa. By school bus. ¿Para? Y usted en la limosina. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ya tenemos las cuatro. Uh -huh. Yo no quiero trabajar. <laughs> Ah, en serio. No, 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 it's fine, fine. I want, I want, I want, pero comprarme es buy. Buying, es correcto. Buy no, es comprar. Bought. No es bought, no. En pasado sí, yo me compré. Ah, ok, entonces no, es en progresivo. Es buying. Ah, pues sí, I want buying. Ajá, ok, I want buying. Just plus ING form, solo regalé ING. Sí, I want no. buying. De hecho, it has to be I want to buy. Ah, I want to buy. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Entonces, así sería, I want to buy. I want to buy. A pickup truck. A pickup truck. A pickup truck, ajá. Y la última sí, de la bicicleta. Llevamos. ¿Cuatro? Falta cuatro, uno. ¿verdad? Cinco, dijo el teacher que era. Ok, la última sería. Yo te decía que agregáramos otra de la bicicleta. Agreguemos otra entonces. Pongámosla siempre usando con nosotros o ponemos con, con un nombre, un nombre ficticio. Podemos agregar lo de los niños. Los niños okay. juegan con su bicicleta. Okay, guys, we're coming back. Okay, guys, now you have here the whiteboard for you to write down your sentences. Because in here, it is better for me. If I need to correct something, it is better to do it uh, through the whiteboard. Okay, can you type, please, your examples in here?
Okay, guys? You can type your exercises in here. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to check now what you have done. Okay, let's see. We have here the first example. It says, I would like to travel by helicopter. Okay, it has context. That is okay. I'm going to change the color. This. And that is correct. And I like to ride a bicycle. Okay, it means that you do it, right? Because you have the bicycle. And then I have another, uh, more exercises. I want buy, okay. I want to buy, I want to buy a pickup truck. The submarine was locked while The carriage of the Titanic. I think esta palabra no es lot, sino que es lost. Okay? Was lost. Okay. What exploring, right? Then we have the kids playing with the kids. Aquí hace falta R. The kids are playing with my bicycle. Then the next exercise, I am practice, practicing, porque es progressive. I am practicing bicycle on weekends. And the last one, Mariela, take a cruise ship for your vacations. Um, pareciera ser que es un pasado y como son las vacaciones de ella, en todo caso aquí tendría que ser her, for her vacations. Y el pasado de take es took, right? Okay, teacher. Then we have Moses traveled by ambulance to the hospital when he had an accident. 
quizá traveled no sería aquí la mejor opción, mouses, porque estamos hablando de un accidente. Entonces vamos a poner that mouses was taken. Was taken by, by the ambulance to the hospital when he had an accident, okay? Okay. Good, and uh, normalmente lo vamos a quitar. Vamos a poner in the US, the children travel to school by school bus. Okay. But it is in the, in the USA. Six years ago, I was traveling to work on a motorcycle. Okay. On a motorcycle. Okay. Aquí sería by. By motorcycle. And that is what we are going to see in this moment. ¿Qué vocabulario we need to use when we are using the different kind of means of transportation? That is what we are going to see in that couple of seconds. Let's see. Good, guys. For example, we are going to use, it says, go by. Go by to specify the means of transportation. Use from point A to point B. For example, from the university to your house or from to your house to your job or from your house to the university and then to the work. So we need to use different kinds of transportations. And here it says that we are going to use go and by when we mention the means of transportation. For example, if I ask you, how do you how do you go? How do you go to work? And you can say, I go by bus. I go by bus. Or I can say, I go by car. Or you can say, I go by plane and in here even though this example it says by foot the most common one is to say on foot on foot and instead of saying by foot we say on foot for example Before before doing this, I want to see. Where is the picture? Okay, this is the one that I want to show you. That we use by. When we are going to mention the means of transportation, for example, we're going to use by immediately, and then we say by bus, by taxi, by calf, by bicycle, by motorcycle, under one or by top. Any means of transportation, but we are going to use by. But when we decide to walk, and then we are going to say, I walk 
or I go on foot. And that is when you don't use any kind of transportation, when you go on foot. And that is the right uh, way of saying it, right? But now let us go back again. And I've got here one conversation that we have in our book. Let me see if I can find this conversation in our book. In our book, we have the conversation that is on our page. Let me see. That is in our page. 40, 45. 45, yes, thank you, I've got it. So this is a page from the book, that is page 45. And on your right, on your right to have the conversation, right? And this is a very, very brief conversation, but in which we use the expressions go, the means of transportation, and also get, but because we are asking for the address. This is another way to ask for address that we say, how can I get to? And then you mention the place. Okay, I'm going to read the, this conversation just to model you the pronunciation, right? And then we are going to work on it. It says, excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it is two blocks down the street. You can go there on foot, right? That is the best. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. So you are asking for um, a direction, right? An address. And the other person, it is giving you how to get that. But in this case, a diferencia de las previous conversations, ya no es que eh, usted le va a dar the, the direction, uh, naming the street or naming the, the, um, the boulevards. No, in this case, the main point is to mention the kind of transportation that you can use if you want to get to that place. Of course, but you're going to say it, it is two blocks down the street, but mainly is using the expression how to get to them, right? We're going to ask for different places, but we need to mention this. Do you have any questions about if we use, for example, for the means of transportation, we need to use get or we need to use go. However, whenever we use get, it is because um, there is something that you will see in a couple of exercises more that whenever we say get, it is because you are getting the point to at the moment that you are arriving to that place. And that is when we use get, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to read it again. You listen to it for pronunciation, and then two of you are going to read it, and then another two. I think that we have only six people here, right, participating. The other ones are listeners. 
Okay, and I'm going to read again. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Or on foot, right? Thanks a lot. Now I would like to listen to. Let me see, let me see. Rosie and Remberto. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. So, Rose, you, I'm little A or you are little A? Okay, comienzo. Excuse me, how can I head to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I am going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is three a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Rose, only this one? Get. How can I get? How can I get? And uh, is there a car rental near here? Is there a car rental near here? Okay. 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 Now let us listen to Elsie and uh, Jessica Diaz. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go, go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go, go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Now, finally, we are going to listen to Jessica Carolina Ruballos in the... Jose Adilson. Okay. Michelle, excuse me, Aden. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Adilson and Jessica, you read and then we go to the attendance, right? Adilson? Okay. 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 Jessica, are you there? Jessica, Rubayos. She's not here. Lick, eh, perdón, yo soy Jessica Rubayos. Jessica Díaz Rubayos. Ella es Jessica Rodríguez. Ah, ok, ok, thank you. <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Rodríguez. <laughs> but I think that she's not there. Whoa. No, she's not there. Okay, let us go to the to the attendance, right? Meanwhile. Okay, we have Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Alma Brendalinieto, Elías. 
Elsa Benedicta. Present. Para Maña. Thank you. Present. Isaac Chávez. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present, teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present, teacher. Okay. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Okay. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. Ha, apareció. <laughs> okay. José Adilson Vázquez. Present, teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elisette Barrera Hernández. Present, teacher. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present teacher. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Y Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Okay. Thank you. So we're going back to the book. Since we have here this conversation and we have this information, before, before working with the whole conversation on your own, I want you to complete this, um, this table in which we have, for example, it says write the name of three different places around your company. Take turn asking how you can get to those places. For example, we have um, the means of transportation can be the car, but what place can you name? Of course, you have to have different branches. Remember that we have like the headquarter of the branches. So, Something like that, it is similar here. If you have the branches uh, far away of the headquarter. But if you cannot have headquarters or branches, let us do this information like uh, in a general way. Maybe it is not part of your job, but maybe you want to get to one place, maybe because you want to uh, repair your your car and then you you want to take it to be fixed so you ask for that place maybe take it to the um mechanic right so you have to say uh, the means of transportation that you have to use or the equation that you can use right can i go to at that place by car Yes or no, right? So that is what we need to do, mainly with this chart. We need to complete it from at least from three different places and that you can use the means of transportation. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Let us complete it. Okay, I'm not going to change. You're going to work with the same classmates, right? Because, because otherwise it is going to take like more time. Siempre se mantiene Elsie con mouses, solo que se me salió el otro chico. Pero ya lo voy a ingresar. If he is here, ya lo voy a ingresar. Okay, let us have just around five minutes or less than five minutes. Let us do it. Let's see if I... If I found this guy, Jose Adilson? Yes. Okay, lo puedo mandar nuevamente con ellos? Yes. Yes, okay. Please.
can I go to can I go to supermarket by car? Okay. Obvio, obvio. Can I, la otra? Sería, can I go to the other country by plane? Podemos hacer yes. una negativa. You can, sí, deberíamos de hacer una negativa. Hagamos una negativa. O sea, con una respuesta negativa. Yes. Um, un lugar. Um, vaya, puede ser. Place, el lo que vos decías, a la escuela, ¿verdad? A la universidad. Can I go to the university by helicopter? <laughs> by helicopter sería can I go to university yes by We're coming back. Be ready. Okay, now that everyone is here, I would like to see if you have completed the information, the chart. Can yes, we see it? Okay, or you can okay. read it. Uh, 
Creo que éramos el uno, ¿no, Elsa? Yes. Yes. Ok, entonces le voy a presentar el cuadrito que hicimos, teacher. Ok, ahí. good. Ahora sí se mira, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, okay. Yes. Una, uno cada uno. Okay. The place is supermarket. The means of transportation is car. Question is, can I go to supermarket by car? Yes, you can do it. Next. <laughs> Elsa, colegas. No, no, pues yo. The place, the place far. Means of transportation, pick up truck. The question, can I go to, to far by pick up truck? Yes, yes, you can do it. Okay, thank you. Adilson, pick up truck. Pick up truck. Okay, pick up truck. Place, okay. work, means of transportation, bus, question, can I, can I go to work by bus? Answer, no, you cannot. Oh my goodness, what a place is that, that you cannot go by bus? <laughs> it has to be, for example, I don't, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. drive. That's why I don't know the, the, the places. But I just remember one place that is near, uh, ¿cómo se llama este? Multiplaza. And there is one place near there que dice, no transporte público. Those streets, in those streets, no public transportation. So you cannot go there by bus. That is true. Es decir, quien va a ir por ahí tiene que ir just by car. Otherwise, <laughs> or you can go on foot but no by bus, okay? So you see, we have some some places here in El Salvador. Okay, thank you guys. Now, the second team. Teacher, teacher question. Yes, Jose Adilson. Para, para el answer, solo se tiene que esa opción de, yes, I do, I do it, o hay otra opción. I can do it. Yes, you can, can do, do it. it. Yes, you can. No, you cannot. Because what you are using, it is the auxiliary can. That's why. Ah, okay. You are using, okay. yes, I can. No, I can't. Because uh, the question is with can. Okay. Right? Okay. Good. Okay. And the second team? Just be, be just... Yes. Okay, go ahead, Rose. Okay. Uh, can I go to the supermarket by car? The answer, yes, you can. The second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I go to the other, other country by plane? Yes, you can. And can I go to the university by helicopter? No, you can. <laughs> yes, we cannot do it. Not at this time, right? Maybe in the future, but not at this moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. No, but the problem is that you cannot land in the, in the university. You're not going to be able. Se va a todo. Cuando sea presidente. Yeah, in that case, yes. Wherever you want to go. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, so we have in our books, we have... Uh, but before, before, before continuing with this, I want to do this. Let me see. You have... I, you have ever played the, um, no veo esto, okay, no veo la whiteboard. I'm going to use the whiteboard again, but because I want to play tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. 
Let me see. Ya han jugado esto, right? Yes. Hello. ¿Ya lo han jugado? Tic tac toe. Ah. No. Hello? Am I mute? No. Excel. Excel, no. Okay. okay. In English, it is called tic tac toe. Okay. Tic -tac -toe. In 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 Spanish, it is x zero, but in English, it is tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. This is this is very simple, right? So you have, vamos a mantener a los dos teams que tenemos y ustedes van a poner, el primero que comience va a decidir if it is X or zero, right? X or zero. X or zero. Okay, ¿quién comenzó? Elsie. Okay, Elsie. Okay. Elsie. Okay. Name a means of transportation de lo que hemos visto. Elsie. Okay. Train. Okay, train. That is what she said. Okay, that is okay. Ok, ahora falta la X. Bien, del otro equipo, del que no es el sí, pone la X. Lo siento, teacher, tenía para el micrófono. No he visto. Yes. Por eso estaba escribiendo. Ok. No, ya va como eso. Los que, los que, um, déjenme ver. Si gustan, a donde dice shapes, pueden escoger ahí, hay una cross. Por si se les hace difícil escribirlo. Pero ahí donde están los shapes, donde está un cuadrito, pueden agarrar. También hay zero, también hay una cross. Ok, vamos. Ok, ahí está, ok. Jessica Araceli wrote the X. Ok. Another means of transportation, Jessica. Tell me. Ok, bus. Good. Now the, the other team, el, el, el team de, de Elsie. Ok, ahí va Moses. Vamos a ver. Okie dokie. Moses, tell me a means of transportation. Motorcycle. Okay. The other team. You need to write down the X. The other team, we had Jessica, Rose, and uh, um, Remberto. Ahí va Rose. Ya la vi. Dicha, I am sorry. Este, no escuché muy bien qué vamos a hacer. Está ocupada. Ajá, ahí están jugando X0 y ustedes son la X. ¿Qué? Ah, ok. 
Ok, ¿quién escribió el reinvento? Yo creo no. que ese fue un truco. Ajá. <risa> ok. No, yo no, yo no escribí. Viejo okay. truco. Remberto, Remberto Tires. <risa> ok, Remberto. Name a, a means of transportation. Helicopter. What? Helicopter. 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 Ok, se queda ahí entonces. Ok. Y vamos uh, con el otro cero, a uh, José Adilson. ¿Ya lo escribió y si me había terminado Remberto, muchacho? No, no se vale, no se vale. Bórrelo, bórrelo. No, bórrelo. No, están haciendo trampa, no, están haciendo trampa. Ahí ganamos, ganamos. No. Ganamos. No. Ganamos. Estos dos, no. Okay. That's it, that's it. Qué manchas son las que han hecho, muchachos. Ok, vaya. Ok, sí, sigue el equipo de eh, el en Mouses. Ok, vamos a Dilton. Ok. Hey, ok. No, a Dilton. Dos zeros. Dos zeros escribieron. ¿Qué pasó? No, no, no. Van a perder Man, por no. default. Ya, ya perdieron, teacher. Ya descalifíquenlo. Ya estuvo, ya. <ríe> Ok, él sí, tú. Borre el que, el, que, el que no es. Todos han escrito, hay un montón. Yo no, no sé no cómo, es, cómo borrarlo, teacher, el de aquí de okay. la esquina inferior. Ah, ok, borre. okay. yo lo borro, vaya, ok. El de arriba okay. también, bórrelo, bórrelo. <risa> no, ya perdieron. <risa> ok, él sí, another means of transportation. Eh, ambulance. Ambulance, ok, that's it. Ok, your turn. The X team. Okay. De la nada va a aparecer la X. Ahí está. <laughs> <laughs> me, teacher, me. Ok, ok, ok. Rose did it. Ok, Rose, name a means of transportation. Plane. Plane, yeah. Yes. Ok, good. Now the other team, the zero team. Vean bien a dónde lo van a hacer. Si ponen two zeros, quedan eliminados. Ok, solo uno. Ok, good. Two zeros. Uh, two zeros. Ya perdieron. 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 Ya Adilson. Yo hice uno. Ah, ah. <ríe> sí, ok, Elsie, dígame another means of transportation. Car. Car. Ok, Roberto, another means of transportation. Submarine. What? Submarine. Ah, ok. <ríe> I hear tamarind. <ríe> Maybe because I'm thirsty. Okay, no, we, <laughs> we are missing only one space, guys. And that is for zero. Okay, zero Ay, team. <laughs> La teacher le dio chance, no, porque ya le habíamos ganado con Rose. <laughs> Tan malo que me meto. <laughs> Ellos comenzaron haciendo trampa. Oh, no. Adilson ya había completado juego. todos los ceros. Yeah. Adilson que empezó a llenar todo. Ok, guys, good. Ok. So, with this, we are going to add more about this. So... Now we have here... And now, this is what we have about the grammar point, right? The use of get and the use of go. Um, the questions that you have used, for example, in here, how can I get to the trade center? And I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6 it says that we use get to ask for directions or to emphasize 
the idea of in here. Oops. Arriving when you arrive to one place. Okay. And then that is why we use get in all this because it is in the means of getting. How can I arrive to the train center? I am going to rent a car as soon as I arrive to Panama. I usually arrive to the office at 6.30. But, but in the other one, when you're going to emphasize to go, in this case, it is from one place, here it is just for going. Here we are going to say that you want to, to be in that place, but in not in the means of arriving, right? Only get, it is with the meaning of arriving, when you are there in the place. For example, if I have here this, how do you go to work? It is in the place when you go, you move from one place to another one, right? And I'm going to go to the conference centers after I check in. And I go home around 7 p.m., right? So this emphasizes the moment where you are going to be in the place and the other one emphasize the moment of thinking in the movement that you are from one place to another one, right? This is what it emphasizes. And the other one emphasizes the moment when you are there in the place. Let's see if we complete, can complete these exercises. Here. Okay. It says, complete the statements with get or go. Sometimes both options are possible. Sometimes, sometimes both are possible. And sometimes they are not. I cannot move this. Okay. Let's see. In the first one we have, we're going to buy a charger when we get to yeah. the airport. That is okay. But for number two, we say, Alex... Alex Sophia, Sophie, uh -huh. who do you go to work? How do you go to work? Okay. Yes. How do you go to work? By car. How do you go to work? You. How do you go to work? Sophia by car. No, you. <laughs> you. Uh, now the question okay. is for all of you. Uh, okay, okay. okay. I I buy. I, I go, go to work. I go buy. No, I go bus. to work. Listen, listen, Adilson. I go to work by bus. Okay. Okay. Repeat. I go to work by, by bus. Okay, good. What about the other ones? How do you go to work? What about, what about you, Roberto? Hi, Roberto, ya no está ahí? Ah, como no, Just está. always. <laughs> How do you go to work? I go to work by my motorcycle. Ah, yes, you look like you look a motorcycle guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
Yes. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> it is true. I don't know why, but that is what I see. But you you have to be very careful, Roberto. Okay, thank you. Right. <laughs> okay, then we have number three. Uh, the trainer is going to the production plant after meeting. To the production yes. plant after the meeting. Is it go or get? Maybe get. Get. Okay. get. It is the best. It's good. The trainer, the trainer is going to get to the production plant after the meeting. Okay? Good. Number four. Excuse me. How can I I stop passing? Because of the examples how, how that we can have. I go, go, to the go to the bus station. No, miren los examples que tenemos con esa pregunta. La que hicieron ustedes. Oh, yes. Excuse how to get. Uh -huh. How can I get? Yeah. How can I get? How can I get? How, how can I get? How can I get to the bus station? Number five. The bank is really near. You can go. Yeah. Go to the bank. You can go by foot or on foot. <laughs> and finally, we have the last one. I'm going to call you when I get. get. Uh -huh. When I get to the hotel. When I get to the hotel. Okay, guys. Con todo este vocabulario, entonces ahora sí van a hacer la pequeña conversation. Pero me van a unir estos dos pedacitos de conversation. Vean. Por eso no hicimos la primera parte, para que usaran todo de una sola vez. ¿Cuáles dos pedacitos de conversation? Well, you're going to use esto, o sea estas, o sea estas. Ese tipo de preguntas de cómo van a llegar a algún lugar. Y seguido de la otra small conversation que tenemos aquí. Que es una combinación, ¿ve? Entre aquella y esta. Una sola conversation. So you are going to work in this conversation, pero ahora sí con lugares específicos, right? The whole conversation. Así como los ejercicios que utilizaron como to the supermarket, pero ahí se utilizaron pregunta y respuesta. Una. And this is a conversation. Yes. Porque todavía aquí les dice cuántas uh, cuadras uh, tiene que seguir. Y si quiere mencione la calle, right? Y si está cerca o si está lejos. You can do it. Así que let us go and work on a similar conversation with this. Utilizando mm -hmm. estas expresiones de uh, go or get by taxi or any other way means of transportation. Y con eso vamos a terminar, pero you need to work on that. In five minutes, you finish, right? O en menos de cinco minutos, you finish, right? Okay. Sure? Okay, let us go.
soon. No, you, I'm going to rent a car. Rent a car. See? Uh, Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. Where a uh, historical center is far away. So you can go by your car and you go along of the Juan Pablo Avenue and you take it the first West Street. Okay, guys, volvemos, volvemos. Okay, guys, we're going to listen just to your conversations and then we're going to finish. Okay. Moses and Elsie and uh, with um, Adilson, right? You're the first team, right? Okay. Estamos, estamos trabajando en ello, teachers, en and you didn't teachers. finish. Okay. Pero okay, este, but... era Elsa y Adilson. Eh. Okay. Y lo puede hacer más grande. Ok. Claro. Yes, please. <laughs> ok. 
Thank you. Excuse me, sir. How can I get to the trade center? Oh, the trade center is in Panama City. You can go by plant or you can drive. Um, thanks. I'm going to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? No, it's 10 blocks down the street. Okay, I'm going to take a plane. Okay, <laughs> but plane sería así como la primera vez, okay? But plane, sí. plane, okay? Plane. Así como lo escribieron al final, that is another thing. <laughs> okay. Yo sé que ya, ya, es, ya es que tenemos sueño. <laughs> ok, good. Yes, and now, Rose and Renberto, ok? Ok. Hello, Renberto, how are you? I have a question for you. Hi, Rose. I'm fine. Thanks. How can I help you? Well, how can I, how can I get to the history, historical center of San Salvador? Oh, well, historical center is far away, so you can go by your car and you go along of the Juan Pablo Avenue and you take the first West Street in front of the WBNDA Bank. Oh, thanks. Can I go to the historical center by foot? No, you can't. You can go by car or you can take a taxi or an Uber. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks okay. a lot. Okay, good. Excellent. But I suggest you to go on foot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nowadays, you cannot get it with your car. Y si va por Uber, lo dejan en otro lugar because they cannot get into the streets. Okay. So you're going to be lost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you very much. And now we're going to go to the second part of the attendance. So be ready, please. Let's see. Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Present. Gilberto Alasso Funes. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Carolina Rodriguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez. Ok. José Adilson Vázquez García. Good. José Renberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elisette Barrera Hernández. Present. Uh, Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. María René Joval, Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Moises, okay. Moises Elias Torres Bernal. Present teacher. Okay. Osvaldo Vladimir Car Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León y Wilmer Present Alexander teacher. Mendoza. Okay, teacher, guys. mi nombre no lo mencionó. ¿No la mencioné? Ok. Ya le voy a poner. Ok. Ok, Jessica. That's ok. Ok, guys. Uh, solamente me queda decirles que eh, mañana tenemos la última clase del módulo y con eso vamos a terminar. Así que 
los que todavía están debiendo uh, homework ahí en la plataforma, uh, vamos buscando cómo realizarlas. Uh, los exámenes también están ahí, ¿verdad? Así que eh, you better take them, porque mañana tenemos the last class and we finish, right? Así que ya después vienen todos los resultados. ¿Verdad? Y se les darán a conocer a ustedes. Pero mañana, por favor, traten de estar como al día con todas sus actividades. Right? Ok, teacher. Ok, guys. Thank you very much. And see you tomorrow. Good night. Good Bye. night. Good 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 night.